able to use the expertise here at Livermore in lasers. Opens this whole new broad realm of sciences. How does this process change when you make it go a billion times faster? DTEM is a, a rather interesting combination of lasers and an electron microscope. We've used the DTEM very successfully to actually image the crystals as they grow. But now we use a laser to make it generate electrons in a pulsed fashion. So we send a pulse of ultraviolet light up to a photocathode in the gun of, of the microscope. And that, when it hits the photocathode, it ejects electrons only for as long as those photons are hitting that, that photocathode. And so the pulse duration of the electrons is exactly the pulse duration of the laser, and that can be made quite short. And so we generate this intense pulse of electrons up at the gun and send it down through the column just like a normal electron microscope. And it uh, interacts with our specimen, creates the image or diffraction pattern, and we collect it on a CCD camera. And what we want to study is the actual interface between the solid and the liquid phase as it solidifies. You can't see um, the details of the changes in the microstructure. Um, in order to do that, you need some imaging method, and so that's what the, what the DTEM can do. Initially what we could do is look at the initial state, the final state, and have no idea what was. Now the DTEM fills in all the gaps in between. If you have just a single shot, uh, a single picture, it, it, it tells you, it gives you information, but it, it really doesn't tell the whole story. You really need to be able to follow the evolution of the specimen in these dynamic events, and that requires a movie. It was, it was great. I, I was actually seeing the first, the first image the first time when we saw just, you know, the grains growing in the sequential images. It was like, wow, I didn't, I didn't realize, like, I knew this is the way it's supposed to operate, but it's, it's fantastic to see it operating like this. It works.